G'day superstars, you're gonna love this video today. I'm gonna to show you a tip that's gonna save you so much time in editing that it's just not funny. We're gonna be talking about the trim and edit mode in DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know how to use this, it's gonna blow your mind. If you do know how to use this, feel free to watch and criticize if you like. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, we're in the edit tab and you're gonna love this tip. This is amazing. So basically, if you are in the selector mode in the edit tab, which is this red arrow here, which most people spend their time in that spot, and you think that you would like to make this clip shorter, if you move this bar across here to the left, it will make that clip on the left shorter, but it also extends the clip on the right. If you wanna make the clip on the left longer, and you do the same thing, it actually overwrites the clip on the right, so you actually lose that as well. So I find this to be a real pain, so the only way, really way around it is to select this, drag it out of the way, cut that, put it back down, move it across, which is just a pain. But the trim edit mode, which I'm gonna to talk to you about now, is what's gonna change this. It's really, really cool. So this is how this is different. So if you click on here, which is the trim edit mode, select that. Now in trim edit mode, instead of having to deal with moving this clip, lifting it out, making it smaller, putting it back down, uh, you basically just hold your cursor just like that. So it makes a little arrow next to the green line there. Click and hold, and you can make that clip smaller. And you'll see the whole timeline moves in with it. But if you wanna make that clip longer instead of smaller, as you can see, the timeline extends along with it. Whereas before, if you're in select mode and you want to make that clip longer, it would actually overwrite that clip. And it works on the other side as well. If you want to make that smaller or longer, you have the same result. It doesn't move the clip on the left. But let's just put a cut here in the middle, for instance. Let's say it's now the full edit and this clip in the middle is part of that full edit. It's all been completed. And you're looking at it and you think, you know what, there's a better part of that footage I could use that would fit better to this. If you use it in selector mode, you have to literally lift it out, extend it out to the bit you want. You think, okay, that's the clip I want. And then you've got to clip it back down and bring it back in. If you click it back on trim edit mode and put your cursor in the middle, so it's got two arrows left and right, and just click left, you'll see a white box appear. That is the actual whole clip. So what you can do is you can say, well, you know what? There's a better part of this clip I want to use in this spot. So you just find it. You can find that bit of the clip here like that. So you say, well, okay, that's the bit of clip I want. And then when you press play, everything is great. It's exactly what you wanted. That's what we're going for. That saves me heaps of time because you just click and go, this is the bit I want. It's really good for fine tuning as well because once that edit is done and it's in the timeline, you've got all these other files attached to it. It's really, really handy just to move this file like that a little bit to give you that better shot than to have to move the whole timeline and stuff around. If you love saving time like I do, you're gonna love this video next because this also will save you some time and I'll see you in the next video.